Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, Intersect Basic Tutorial Series again. Uh, this is going to be number three. In our last tutorial, number two, we downloaded the Intersect game engine and got it installed and created our first little map, uh, Grass World. Uh, we only had one default class, uh, character class, um, to go on. So in this version, we are going to make it so that uh, we can go in and actually have different classes uh, and characters that we can choose from from the start menu, like a human, an elf, a dwarf, so forth and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get right on to that. Uh, let's see here. Let's get to and what you want to do is make sure that your Intersect server is up and running. And minimize your server. Go into your client and editor folder. Let's just show you if you open up your Intersect client right now, what you're going to see is when you register, let's just do this right here. Uh, test one, email, test, test one at gmail.com. You don't really have to have an email account to create a character. As long as the email section right here looks like an email address, it'll work fine. Uh, your password one two three four five six one two three four five six. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit register. That'll oh, account already exists because I tried experimenting with this a little while ago. So let's just do test two. Test two. Same thing. Register. Okay. Now we're back up into our character creator menu. So you'd make your uh, character here and we're calling it test two all right and all we've got right now is default we don't have a class yet we're going to change that's what we're going that's what we're going to change we're going to make some classes we're going to do a human an elf a dwarf maybe or something like that male and female still works okay all right we'll just just x out of that i just wanted to sh show you how all you have is a default class and how we're going to change that so right now Open up your Intersect Editor right here. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to have your Intersect Editor open. And here we are in our grass world. All right. To change it so that when people sign up and register for your game, they can choose a class, you're going to go up to the Contents Editor. And you're going to go to the Class Editor. Open your Class Editor. And your your class editor window comes up and in your classes there's default okay so what we want to do is let's just go ahead and rename the default to human and now we have our human class and there's our our human male and our human female that's all set up we shouldn't have to mess with anything there Let's go ahead now and hit the new. It's the new class. In general, under the name, let's call this elf. Okay, so now we're going to create a new elf class. All right, we got our human and we have our elf. Let's see here. Okay, so let's add one option here. And this is going to be, you can choose all kind of different little sprites and stuff like that. That's going to be our male. All right. What I did was, or again, new, changed the name to elf. Okay. We went over here and we chose a sprite, male sprite, gender male. Now let's go ahead and choose a female sprite. Hang on. Oh, add options, sprite and faces. So let's add another sprite. And now this is going to be the female sprite. And let's go in here and try to find us a female sprite. We'll call that one the female sprite. And then again, we can go back here, add a face, just some random face for now. You guys can set this up later to whatever kind of faces that you want to uh, find you a female face. 
that's definitely there we go okay so now we have a new class called elf we've named it elf we we added the male by hitting the plus sign under options under your sprite and face okay we set a sprite we did the same thing with the female right here now let's go in and give these guys some stats so the humans have 20 hit points 20 mana uh, pretty much 20 and everything let's go ahead and give the elves something as well let's just go ahead and give them 20 let's make everything fair for now and everybody can have the same kind of stuff you can switch back and forth from everything without hitting save every time um, just so you can see what the other guy what other classes have so your armor is 20 your magic resistance is 20 so you know you can set those set those uh, I'm not gonna go I'm just showing you real fast you can set them to anything you want to magic resistance move speed definitely get some move speed on there points to distribute when they come into the game what else do we have okay so now we've set up our elf. I'm pretty happy with the elf. We have a human to choose from. We have an elf to choose from. Let's add one more. Let's just have a good time with this. Uh, add, let's call this um, a wizard. All right, now we're adding our wizard. All right, we've renamed that. Human class, new class. Why did that not, why did that change? That shouldn't be. Human, wizard, let's go, oh, I'm sorry, I messed up, I'm going to call it Elf, Elf, all right, you got to make sure you got these selected correctly, it can be a little tricky, all right, let's call our new class Wizard, and there we go, all right, so let's get our male in there, and let's get our female in there, and our male can look like that, and our female could... Find at least a female sprite. Hang on, so bear with me, female. I don't have to get that guy. Whoa. There we go. All right, so we got a male and we got a female. All right. Again, we can give them a little face, whatever. Something male ish. There we go. That looks good enough. And enough for the female. Uh oh. Male. There you go. Female. I always try to keep these things lined up, make sure you don't mix them up. All right, female. Find something that kind of looks like a female wizard. And, uh, good enough. Okay, and again, let's change our stats here in the wizard. To 20 to, let's give them an extra 30 since they're a uh, mage. You know, bump these up, bump these up to whatever you want to. Magic resistance, especially since they're going to be a wizard, can be bumped up a little higher. Armor low, boob speed, give them some points to distribute, and so forth. So now we've got three guys set up. We've got a human set up, an elf set up, a wizard set up. Let's save this. All right. Save your map. Save. Yes. Let's close out of the editor. All right. <clears throat> Again, open up your server, close your server, go back to your server folder, reboot your server, all right, minimize it. Now let's go back to our client and editor. Let's get our intersect client running. Here we are. And now let's register a new test three and see if this worked out. Test three email test three at gmail.com password one two three four five six one two three four five six register now call it test three you now you've got a human you can choose from an elf you can choose from a wizard you can choose from male female, wizard, test three, wizard, female, create. And here we are in our grass world, ready to run around as a brand new character with our new classes. Okay, guys, I hope this has really helped you out. Um, again, we're going to, we've already learned how to get the game, uh, create our first little map, uh, download it, install it, and now we've learned how to create our first classes 
Um, and I really uh, am looking forward to moving on to the next tutorial, uh, which is we're going to start doing some mapping to create our world. So you guys have a great uh, day and we'll talk to you later. Bye.